little enemy want us all to fight. They baiting. You buy I just spit it fast like a flippity hippity. Had an epiphany in me, but really you an enemy. On empty beats in every street, you envy me when I'm in the vicinity. Kennedy flow to you, John Flee with the pen, and I'll squeeze pen with penis. My heat, Harvey's you specs a sentence. Ben a pen with venom, knees, Ben a repentance. You better dentist a menace for you floating like a building in Venice. We kill the tennis, motherfucker, pay the rental. We bill you the dentures. So make a fist if it's black, if it's white. You ain't winning this race when you're losing your life. You tell me what's left when we're losing our rights. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free bird box. Just don't look directly at it. What's going on, YouTube? It's Noxil, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, you know, you know it's always gonna be a very good day when we have Eminem on deck. But not only do we have M, we also have an artist that we've neglected for a while, but we know is super dope as well. I'm talking about Yellow Wolf. Now, as you guys know, I read this very common section. Every time you guys say something, the good, the bad, the ugly, I read it no matter how long it takes me and i always take on board your recommendations now this song has been ridiculously recommended from you all you say that this is one of the best eminem verses ever to be laid down on a track so you know what we're gonna have to put that to the test so we're gonna check out yellow wolf featuring eminem best friend but before we go any further guys i want to give a quick shout out to my discord if you guys have not joined yet please the link is down below come join us say hello as we continue to grow it's a great way for me to keep in touch with you guys to talk we do q a's on there i'll leak music on there i'll do freestyles there's reaction recommendations all kinds of good stuff going on so go check out the discord also if you like what you see and you want to support me and support my growth the patreon link is below guys it's a great opportunity to get behind an artist that you think deserves it all right so without further ado, Eminem, Yellow Wolf, finally, finally, it is time for you both to step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Huh. What is happening right now? I love this clap track, man. It feels, it's very acoustic-y right now, isn't it? And you have different blends of sounds coming in. You've got the guitars that are being strung. You've got a little bit of the DJ record scratching. This is just like taking different vibes and different sounds and souls and merging them all into one. A classic sort of Yellow Wolf style of just hybriding different genres. Oh, there was a wolf. Ain't never been much of the church type. But I believe in the last days. That was a really cool coming with that piano, man. Let's bring this back. This has a vibe. Ain't never been much of the church type. But I believe in the last days. I walk through hell almost every night. But I believe it's a pathway. Wow, that's deep, man. I walk through hell almost every night, but I believe that it's a pathway to something better. I know that heaven exists. I know that hell exists because it's here right now. I have to deal with it every single day. I'm not very religious, but I still believe in a higher power and a higher calling. I mean, we're not rapping like some heavy punches. We're not coming through with the swing and we're coming through with just this like southern Almost rock, country, hip-hop vibe from Yellow Man. But it's smooth. Some soul in this. Doing with your life. With those tattoos on your face. Uh. Say, boy, you know that you'll pay the price. Well, I guess I'll see when I hit that way. Well, I guess I'll see when I... You hear that? Like, there's still... He's still showing that he's got that spitter in him. When he wants to use it, but he's using it to help him complement his singing. That's cool. Well, I guess I'll see when I hit that way. To the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I hold you nearest, my best friend. Let ah. the trumpets blow with your appearance. I can almost hear it, my best friend. Will you wish me hell upon my soul and spirit? This is very religious from him. And if you see, he's got the black hat with the cross on it. But who is his best friend? 
Is he talking about his best friend up there? Like God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit playing off of the Holy Trinity with these lyrics? Or is he talking about like someone that he's lost who's up there? I mean, either way, man, this is, uh, he's got the shovel out on this one. I was not expecting this, honestly. When I saw that this was an Eminem track, I'm like, all right, Yellow's going to come with it. Yellow's going to do his rapping. He's going to do his best to keep up with Marshall. And then Marshall's going to come in and do what Marshall does best and just kill it. But no, Yellow Wolf is, I'm going to make a song. I'm going to make something powerful and meaningful. The vibe. I love this. This is smooth. Ah. Oh. Shout out to the South, man. The Bible Belt, right? I don't know much about Bibles, but I did grow up in the Bible Belt where more people went to church than not. You know, this is a way of life down here. This is what I'm surrounded by. This is my culture. Again, I'm saying it's got that, that Southern swagger to it. I mean, that is just yellow style, man. I love his lane. And now we've transitioned. So we were out in the field. We were showing the wolf, the wolf, the symbolism in that. And now we're in the church. And now he's going to take us to this place. But I grew up in the Bible Belt. I put my love over one and no night. Because I got beat with my mom's belt. Oh. So smooth with the singing. And yet at the same time, we're saying some words that are very sharp and very cutting. I put my love for a woman on idol because I got beat with my mama's belt. I'm talking about getting beat by his mother who had drug problems and issues. And we know this with Yella. And he had a rough childhood and a rough come up. And he's saying that because of that. And it's kind of like the NF effect that we've talked about before. You know, when you're not taught the right example of love and you go through so much pain, you don't want to leave yourself vulnerable again because you know that love can hurt you. And you don't want to put yourself in that position because of all the trauma and all the pain that you've been through. It's some powerful stuff. Smooth harmony. Send you to my best friend. And then you hear the ad lib. Bow. That's very funny because on one hand, he's like preaching, I wish you well. If you hate on me, I wish you well. But as I'm wishing you well, I'll be sending you up to see our father in heaven, my best friend. Mm. There's that, that little undertone of raw ruggedness to it. Well, I'm going to you straight up to my best friend. My best friend. Nice echoes out in the headphone. This is poetry, man. Let the trumpets blow with your appearance. Like the trumpets, the angels calling forth. The religious imagery is so strong throughout this. I wonder where M is going to take this because M is not very religious at all. This will be very interesting to see what he does on a track like this. Let the trumpets blow with your appearance. I can almost hear it. When it's drama like Gandhi, could have gone the other way many times, could have turned Dali with the llama, but I squashed my beef. What just happened? Yellow Wolf put me in such a mellow mood. And then Eminem comes in with just a ridiculous flow and a ridiculous condensed rhyme scheme. We're going to have to bring that shit back because I was not ready for that, man. Wow. God, please, can you arm me with the armor to call me when it's drama? You hear how he's up and down, up and down with the cadence and then all those internal schemes with the armor sounds? That's nice, man. That's nice. Talking about Gandhi. So please, can you arm me with the armor? Can I please, you know, I'm searching for peace. And I said, how is he going to deal with the religious imagery in this? Well, he doesn't waste any time. The first line, God, please arm me. And he points up to the sky. Okay, M. 
please would you arm me with the arm of the call me when wow and he did the sign of the cross too Okay. Drama like Gandhi could have gone the other way. Many times could have turned Dolly with the llama, but I squashed my beefs and things. Could have turned Dolly with the llama. Wow, the Dolly Llama. Shouting out the Dolly Llama in Tibet, right? But also the llama can be slang. The llama. That's a nice, nice double right there. Gandhi could have gone the other way. Many times could have turned Dolly with the llama, but I squashed my beefs and things seem to be looking decent recently. But don't jinx it, it's like Clint East. Things seem to be looking decently recently. How how does he do that? Like there's just so many switches. Like it's not following the pattern of the drums, right? You have to understand. Like the drums are going like this, and M is like do 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 do. Like, he's just so all over the place with the schematics right now. It's nuts. Where, where does he even think where to pause, man? You get so twisted recording this in the booth. Uh. Wow. Talking about Clint Eastwood now. Now, the thing about Clint Eastwood, if you guys don't know, like he was an old Western star. My grandfather used to love Clint Eastwood, man. He used to always have the old classic country Westerns on. But basically what he's saying there is like Clint Eastwood would never find peace, man. The man walks around like a typical cowboy, right? He's got two pistols on him at all times. So Emma's is saying like he's always armed. How can he find peace when he's always ready for war? Uh Peace, though maybe not finna enter the priesthood, but at least should make an attempt to show some remorse and to be some sort of repenter. For the people, I've been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finna. For the people, I've been a minister, a minister, and then he goes to talk about repenting, but also all the people that he's been a menace, M E N A C E, too. It's a nice homophone and slant rhyme on the wordplay right there. Wow, this is just, just a crazy rhyme scheme, man. Some remorse and to be some sort of repenter for the people that have been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finisher. Sorry, I said repent, it's not repent, not a preacher. People have been a minister, minister, preacher, nice connection. Remorse and to be some sort of repenter for the people that have been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finisher. In the mind of a thick skin, but a short tip. Not a preacher, but a finisher. Hang on, let me hear that. People have been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finisher. In not a preacher, but a shit starter and finisher. I love how he's just like, I love how he's just like AKing some of these end schemes, right? Minister, shit starter. Like he's just, man, he's just punching and then he comes and he'll sit and he'll let it breathe for a second. Then he'll punch, 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 sit. Wow. Wow. I, I would love to go back and just study the flow scheme to this. This is, I've never heard something like this in my life. Be some sort of repenter for the people that have been a minister, not a preacher, but a shit starter and finisher. In the mind of a thick skin, but a short tip of this patience of mine is thinner than twine is when I get a text, so I might say something back that might have wow. been. Wow! So if you then twine, hang on, I gotta hear that. I didn't catch that fully. Let's let's bring that again. Wow! Not a preacher, but a shit starter and finisher. In the mind of a thick skin, but a short tip of this patience of mine is thinner. Okay, thin so talking about having thick skin. Right, but he's got a short temper, which is doesn't usually line up. But what he's saying is that he can take these things. He does have thick skin, and he can take so much hate. That's why he puts himself out there. But at the same time, he has a short temper, so he can choose to use his thick skin, or he can choose just to fire back at people, which often happens when you talk badly about M. And then we're gonna get into the twine lines and the attack. But where? Hang on. Where does that connect? Starter and finisher in the mind of a thick skin, but a short tip of this patience of mine is thinner than twine is when I get attacked. So I might say something back that might right, offend you. twine is so it's thinner than twine, and then attack like attack that you put on the end of twine, but also like attack a t t a c k like attacking M. He's launching back and attacking. So many just doubles and homophone rhymes thrown into such a complex scheme. This is this is a master work. Patience of mine is thinner than twine is when I get attacked, so I might say something back that might offend you. So if you don't like when I rap, but what I have to say on the mic, then you might wanna act just like quarterbacks and take a fucking hike when I snap, cause I'm a sinner. Ah. <laughs> wow. Like quarterbacks and take a fucking hike when I snap, cause I'm a sinner. And the way that he said sinner, S-I-N-N-E-R, but also center, 
like a center in football who hikes the ball to the quarterback. So he's saying take a hike, like a literal hike in football, but also take a hike, like get out of here. You don't want to be in the vicinity when I start firing back, when I get angry, when I snap, when I just go off the end, but also a snap is in a football snap. Wow, just a, a crazy scheme. Like when I rap, what I have to say on the mic, then you might want to act just like quarterbacks and take a fucking hike when I snap, because I'm a sinner. I don't got a best friend. Plus balls and intestines, and they never been yes men. They gon' tell me when I'm fucking up the minute, I'm never giving it less than I'm about to vomit. And I, I actually really like those lines. Got balls and intestines, and they've never been yes men, because like intestines are in your gut. Like he's saying that he followed his gut and his balls. He's always stuck true to himself, and they've never been yes men. Like he's never been surrounded by yes men. Like he is his own greatest critic. But it's not like he came out and said it in that way, right? This is where the poetry and the artistry comes in. He didn't just come out and say, I'm my own worst critic. Like he said this in such a unique way that you don't see it exactly for what he's saying it for, unless you put it under the microscope and dig deeper into those lyrics. It's clever. And they never been yes men They gon' tell me when I'm fucking up the minute I'm ever giving it less Then I'm about to vomit and I can fail it Coming cause failure's something I can barely Stomach ah. out and listen to my gut So unless you're my fucking belly button Don't tell me nothing Do my Unless you're my fucking belly button Don't tell me nothing you hear how he said nothing, like nothing on a belly button? That's why fucking belly button. So it can be taken as kind of a sexual scheme, but also literally don't tell me nothing because he only follows his gut, right? And what were those lines before? Hang on, let me bring this back because there was there's just so much. How can we do this? Thank God this is only one verse to break down today or my brain would just be exploding. I don't got a best friend. Plus balls and intestines. And they never been yes men. They gon' tell me when I'm fucking up the minute I'm ever giving it less. Then I'm about to vomit and I can fail it. That said, failure is something I can barely stomach, right? And again, he's playing off of the following his gut. That's why he's vomiting it up. Because when you can't stomach something, you vomit it. And he can't take it. He can't accept failure. He's his own biggest enemy. He's his own worst critic. Nice. And I'm ever giving it less than I'm about to vomit and I can fail it. Coming because failure is something I can barely stomach. And I only listen to my gut. So unless you're my fucking belly button, don't tell me. Not doing my best friend. That was a nice little tie-in to Yellow Wolf and the best friend lies because he set it up. Tell me not doing my best friend, best friend. Can't tell me nothing. You ain't my... And he points up. Points up to the sky like Yellow Wolf talking to God. You ain't my best friend. You ain't the one up there. And then you saw the image of Yellow Wolf tie-in. Nice one, M. We've talked about this. What was it? It was Coffin with Jesse Reyes, right? And see, when a lot of artists get on a feature track, they'll just say whatever the fuck that they want to say. Like, they don't always sit there and just follow the theme of the song, the concept. But what M is doing is not only is he showing off his lyrical ability and his crazy punchlines and flows and wordplay, but he's also showing that he can follow the theme of a song because there's so much religious imagery that he's tying in and symbolism that he's using and alluding to. And then he's tying back to Yellow Wolf's best friend lines. It just adds more synergy to it and just makes it a cohesive of song you have to appreciate how hard it is to sit in that pocket while still showing off your own skills and individuality who you think i'm talking about list me up when i'm down and out still look to him without a doubt still got a best friend nice like there's never been a loud amount should have never been a loud amount now that i got a higher power now with a blackout power out is that they powerless but they crowd around me now that i got a higher power and then he plays off of the power higher power is in god higher authority but also blacking out like blackout when the power gets cut now they're powerless like they don't have any power over him but also they don't have any literal power because it's powerless wow crazy doubles thrown in again and also black out like he's blacking out when he's in the mic like he's just letting it all out he's mentally blacking out and going to a different place should have never been allowed him now now that i got a higher power now when i black out power out is wow black sheep so we have more ties into the religious imagery the higher power now the black sheep being like an outcast the black sheep the one that stands out but then he plays on the sheep because sheep are a part of a herd so i'll be the worst thing that these motherfuckers ever heard heard in your ears but a herd of sheep <sighs> wow count it out you'll be d-o-a that announce will pronounce you dead when they sound it out so prepare for arrival your arch enemy surrounds you now he's all around you Wow, they'll be DOA dead on arrival. 
but you'll be dead when they sound it out. Like they sound out the DOA, the acronym for it. And then what's really cool is when he says that you're surrounded, if you listen to the headphones in the mix, he comes right, then he comes left, then he comes right again. Great mixing just to add more flavor to the punch right there. Prepare for arrival. Wait, 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 wait. I got something else. I got something else. This is crazy. Prepare for arrival. A rival. Your arch enemy surrounds you now. Like your rival. Synonym. Arch enemy. Right? But also prepare for arrival when he arrives. <sighs> Why do you do this to us, Eminem? Breathe. Breathe, man. Breathe. Wow. Another great flow switch and just skiing with the shiggity shock, diggity dock, and he keeps it going. Listen to this. Arch enemy surrounds you now. He's all around you. Not even the doctors at the hospital are going to shiggy shock you back to life. Is it piggy possible to revive you? That's hard to the diggy dock, diggy stop, and it's not an option. Something I'm not going to do. I'm the Iggy Pop of hip hop when I walk in the boot. I'm the Iggy Pop of hip hop? Iggy Pop. That was, uh,. The Stooges, right? The Stooges. And then also, you hear the shout out to Dr. Dre. So the doctors can't revive you, but also he shouts out the doc is in the doctor, Dr. Drizzy. I'm the truth like big stop and it's not an option, something I'm not gonna do. I'm the Iggy Pop of hip hop when I walk in the boot dog. I'm the truth like Biggie rocking with Tupac and a soup talk and a proof drop and a deuce fill up a syllable clip like a refill. And then wow, talking about I'm the truth like Biggie talking with Tupac. So two of the greats in hip hop lore and history talking to proof who is his boy, who is now dead. He shouted out Proof before, a member of D12. His, his best friend, his best friend. Okay, I see it now. I see this connection and where we're going. This is how M ties it in to his personal life and how he relates to the song. Yellow Wolf talking to God. Eminem is talking to his best friend, Proof, up there. So Proof is up there hanging out with Biggie and Pac right now. And then throw him the deuce. Didn't he say the deuce? I think he said the deuce. I'd have to hear that, but I think that's relating to his nickname for proof, like duty and deuces. Hang on. Dog on the truth, like Biggie rocking with Tupac and a soup talk and a proof drop and a deuce. Fill up a syllable clip like a refillable script cock and a shoot. You know thinks my cock. Fill up a syllable clip like a refillable script. Wow. He's filling up the syllables in this clip, getting ready to shoot it, man. I mean, he's just murdering the alphabet and everything in between. Can a proof drop and a deuce fill up a syllable clip like a refillable script cock and a shoot? You know you think's my clock that I use that I pull from to get my strength up against these haters and they'll be waiting at the gate when you get sprayed up sitting you hold straight up to deal with my best friend. Thank God we're at the end because that was just, that was insanity. That was just one of the best M verses I think I've ever heard and it was deep two and who do you think my glock is when i use the aim who do you think my inspiration is for these lines and these lyrics proof the same man that i'm gonna send you up to when i spray it and i destroy you in your career <sighs> wow 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 at the gate when you get sprayed up sitting you hold straight up to deal with my best friend <laughs> to the father son and holy spirit i hold you nearest my best friend Yellow Wolf has also talked about his problems with alcohol. And I think there's a little bit of a double thrown in here when he's talking about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Like the Holy Spirit up high that's in you, but also spirit as in spirits, alcohol. I hold you dearest. I hold you near. Because he deals with his alcohol addictions and his problems too. Holy Spirit, I hold you nearest. My best friend. Best friend. Let the trumpets blow with your appearance. I can almost hear it. My best friend. Nice little snare. Oh man, this is funky. Wow, 
I mean, you have Yellow Wolf who is just singing his soul out. You know, you feel the passion and the pain in his lyrics. And the lyrics to him are like poetry, man. Like, there is depth to that so much. And then M comes in, just destroys every single flow and rhyme scheme and reason that you've ever known with just the most ridiculous internal rhymes and homophones and wordplay but then he's saying some serious deep shit that ties fully into the song and just goes so well with what yellow wolf did but also the contrast is nice because the second m starts this rapid fire spitting like you notice you take notice immediately whereas if yellow wolf did it and then m did it like it wouldn't be as stark of a contrast but because it was set up in that way it sets up m to really just go off on the end and honestly that verse was just flawless wow i can't believe i have never heard that m verse before because i mean i've heard so many good m songs but that that is class man that is absolute fire eminem yellow wolf amazing song thank you everyone who recommended this Wow, I'm going to go listen to this again. I really appreciate it. You guys are Knox Hill certified. So hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other Eminem songs you want to see us do, Yellow Wolf songs, or if there's other artists you want to see us check out. I try to read all of your comments, guys. I respond to as much as I can. So please keep commenting and keep posting. The more you like, the more you comment especially, the more you subscribe. It just helps us grow. Thank you as always, guys. This is your reminder to stay safe, to stay positive. If you need anything at all, Discord link is down below. Hop in there, say hello, reach out to me, reach out to this community. Just know that you are never, ever alone. I love you guys. It's Knox Hill, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.